Okay guys and welcome for the part 2 of this segment on uh, Docker and uh, as you remember on the first part we installed Docker and in this part we're going to install Portainer. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going back to the uh, my put it here, the um, SSH program. I'm already um, logged in. So we got uh, Docker installed. Now we're going to install Portainer that will allow you to manage, delete, create containers in an easy way. So without any delay, let's go back here and we're going to do the installation. So for the Linux, the version we have here, uh, line, um, Ubuntu, we're going to run these two line of code again i can do both or i can do one by one if you know whatever and uh, don't forget you got to do with the sudo unless you're already you know uh logged in as root and sudo and there we go the it's the loading now the information from Botainer GitHub, I think. I don't know if it's GitHub or, or from Botainer website. But anyway, it's the loading. We wait until it's finished. There we go. So we go, we're going to check Docker. Let's say sudo again as well, just in case. What are we talking about here? Docker. There we go. And as you can see, it's running on port 9000, like we done here. Okay. So, what we got to do now, uh, if I do if config, uh, you will see we got 238. So, we go to 192.168.1238. Part 9000 and here we go we should go to Portainer is loading and it should ask us to create a username and a password I'm going to leave admin for now and I'm going to add the password and I'm going to confirm it I'm going to create the user. Well, let's do this not now. And we're going to manage a local. Make sure that the portainer is being in, uh, initialized again. You can run this one here if you want to, the plug it. And I'm going to connect it. And as you can see, local has already been uh, run. And as you can see, we have already installed the container to manage Docker. Why did I use? Uh, I mean, again, there is there are many you can. Um, uh, there, there is more than one inter you know graphic interface for docker you can use uh Portina is one of the easiest to use but if you do a search on google um docker for example uh graphic interface let's say gui um kite matic for example rollout um Portina's there there is another one called um rancher for example this is another good one rancher um but for my you know for what we use me and uh, some of my colleagues and friends uh portena is the right one anyway so without any delay and let me go back here so as i said here you can actually uh create you know new uh, containers you can create users for other people to use this one is the 
the one that by default has been created, the role administrator. Here you can find some of the settings. But again, this is not um, a tutorial on how to use Portainer. It was just to show you uh, that I'm installing Docker and Portainer on my Proxmox. Anyway, thanks again for this very, very short uh, on how to install Portainer on Docker. And I'll see you for the next tutorial.